Hello everybody, it's BlockYuck, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can play Elden Ring in Minecraft. So the first thing you want to do is, you want to go to the Curse Forge website, and you want to go to the Shattered Ring mod pack, created by Asian Half Squat, and I will put a link to this website in the video description, so that you can click on that link in order to get to the same website that I am on right now. So, a few days ago, Asian Half Squat released a video where he turned Minecraft into Elden Ring with mods, and if you look on the Curse Forge website, you can see the video right here, and you can watch the video. And I would strongly recommend watching the video in order to get a good feel as to how the mod pack works, and also just to support Asian Half Squat. So big shout out to him for creating this mod pack. Now, if you want to download the mod pack for yourself in order to play Elden Ring inside of Minecraft, what you want to do is you want to click on where it says Files right here. And you want to go ahead and download the Shattered Ring mod pack. Now, anytime you want to download a mod pack, you want to look for the game version. It says 1.16.5. And you want to click on this Install with CurseForge app button. So if you click on this right here, it's going to... Um, Go ahead and pop up this little page right here and right now what you want to do is you want to click on this little download app button and this is going to take you off to the curse forge um app so right now you want to click on either windows or mac depending on which type of computer you have so i have a windows i'm just going to click on that and right now we can click on this little arrow and we can click on where it says open and it will go ahead and install the curse forge app for us so right here you want to click on where it says yes and we're going to go ahead and let that install. And so right here is the CurseForge installer. So you want to go ahead and select your language. Um, I'm using English, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Next right here. And what you want to do is you just want to leave that checked. And you also want to click on this checkbox. And now you can click on where it says Next. And right now it's going to go ahead and download all of the um, mods with the CurseForge installer and the CurseForge installer is just an app that will allow you to go ahead and download mods for many different games including Minecraft and so that is pretty much what we are going to be doing here and so as you can see it is almost finished downloading so there we go, the CurseForge installer is finished downloading, and right now it's going to pop up this other web page. It just says thank you for installing the CurseForge, and right now you want to click on where it says launch in orange right there, and that is going to go ahead and launch CurseForge for you. So once CurseForge launches, it's going to go ahead and start the setup process. So right now it's going to say welcome to CurseForge, and you want to click on where it says next, and right now you want to click on where it says next. And you also want to go ahead and click next right here and click next again after you read this. And now what you want to do is click on where it says get started. And so right here we have all of these different games that you can choose from. And so you want to go ahead and select Minecraft Java Edition. And so if we click on that, then you want to go ahead and choose standard and click on where it says continue. And it's going to say that we are getting Minecraft ready for modding. And so there we go. Minecraft Java Edition is it's installed. So right now we are in the My Mod Pack section. And we don't have any mod packs installed yet. So we are going to go ahead and download the, um, the Shattered Ring mod pack right here. And so right now we're just going to repeat the same step, the Shattered Ring. And we're going to select 1.16.5, it's latest version right here. And we're going to click on this orange install with CurseForge app. And right now, it's going to go ahead and um, pop up this window right here. And right now, you just want to click on this little checkbox and click on where it says open CurseForge. And it is going to download the Shattered Ring mod pack inside of CurseForge and it's just going to go ahead and load that up so we will jump right back once that is finished so here we go the shadow ring mod pack has completed its installation and if we hover over it you can see that there is an orange play button so we are just going to click on that orange play button right now and it's going to go ahead and launch the minecraft um, java edition launcher for us 
So here is the Minecraft Java Edition launcher, and you may need to like sign into your Microsoft account in order to get to the launcher. Um, if you do need to sign into your Microsoft account, just go ahead and do that in order to get to the launcher. But here we are, and as you can see, we have the Shattered Ring um, Minecraft mod pack selected. And so right now, all we're going to do is hit the play button, and you want to click on this, I understand the risk, and click on the green play button again, and the Shattered Ring mod pack will go ahead and load up for us. So here we are, Minecraft Java Edition is launched, and as you can see, the home screen looks a lot different from the default Minecraft home screen, but it does have all of the same buttons right here. So if you click on where it says mods, it'll go ahead and show all of these different Minecraft um, mods that are installed. And if we click on where it says single player, then we can go ahead and create a new world. So we're just going to make this world creative, allow cheats on, and click create new world just to kind of show you how the entire minecraft world is able to be generated all right everybody so here i am in game and this is just the default minecraft world that i have created so it doesn't look like anything too spectacular from this spawn point however i can reassure you that this minecraft mod pack is very magical it's very intense and it is a lot like the real elden ring and if we click e to open up our inventory you can see that we have successfully downloaded the, the mod just by looking at all of these different kinds of um new items that are added to the game so we have these like artifacts, we have mutant beasts, and there's even a third page here that has like Valhesia structures, epic fight items, and so this mod pack adds a lot of new things to the game. I would definitely recommend you check it out. I am not going to explore too much in depth in this video because this was just how to install the mod pack, but I hope that you enjoyed this video and were able to successfully download and install the mod pack. And whenever you first join the world, it also gives you like a book that you can read for the rules, but I think I dropped it when I started recording. But for you, you'll be able to pick up that book and read it. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.